Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos. The next topic for the day is invasive alien species. Why is it in the news? Let us get into the details. Invasive alien species. Intergovernmental platform on biodiversity and ecosystem services. They have recently released a report called assessment report on invasive alien species and their control. Okay, so what is this report highlighting? It sheds light on alarming proliferation of invasive alien species worldwide and their devastating impact on global biodiversity. So, how are alien species going to affect global biodiversity and how are they uh, spreading in a rapid manner? So, that is what is being highlighted by this particular report. Okay, so let us get into the details of the report and also we will understand what is invasive species in detail. What is invasive species? They are also called as invasive exotic species, invasive alien. Alien means foreign, invasive. Why is it invasive? Let us understand. So, these are the organisms, they are also called as non native species. Okay? So, those organisms that have been introduced into a region or ecosystem outside of their native range, each and every organism will be having their own native range, but if they are introduced into a region or ecosystem outside their native range, then that is such species are called as invasive alien species and they are established as a self-sustaining population. This is also important. So, when a new organism is going to be introduced in a newer environment, then there are many chances that they degrade or they get depleted in their, uh, I mean, in their population. But they are establishing self-sustaining population. This is a unique property exhibited by alien invasive alien species. So, this statement stands for this term, alien. Okay? Why is it invasive? Because these species often outcompete native species. That is why it is alien. Sorry, invasive. Okay? So they cause invasion. So, they outcompete native species and it will disrupt the balance of the ecosystem. So, when an ecosystem's balance is disrupted, then that is called as invasion. Okay? And it leads to a range of negative impacts. What are the negative impacts and what are the factors responsible for the growth of invasive species? We have to know. And what are the highlights of this particular report? That we will know. First of all, we must know the scale of the problem of invasion of alien species. First thing is, this report reveals the presence of approximately 37,000 alien species introduced by human activities and of these 37,000, 3,500 are classified as invasive alien species. Okay? These 37,000 are alien species, but these 3,500 are invasive alien species, which means they are going to disrupt the ecosystem. Okay? And they pose severe threat to the local ecosystem and of these 3500 60 sorry 6 percentage is plants 22 percentage is invertebrates 14 percentage vertebrates and 11 percentage alien microbes okay so these details are important so from this you must have to understand that invasive species are not only plants okay there are also vertebrates, invertebrates and microorganisms. Every other thing is considered as invasive. So, the basic concept is when they are relocated from their native region to another region, then that is called as alien species and when they are going to disrupt the ecosystem, then they, then they become invasive alien species. Okay? So, this is the concept. So, what are all the major or leading invasive species? The best example for this is water hyacinth. Water hyacinth. This is water hyacinth. It ranks as the world's most widespread invasive alien species on land. Okay? So, that is the world's most widespread. So, it ranks number one. Number two is Lantana. Lantana is a flowering shrub and then comes number three that is black rat. Okay? And then you also have brown rat and house mouses, mouse which are widespread invaders. So, the first one is water hyacinth which has to be kept in mind. They generally grow in ponds. So, they tend to consume all the nutrients which are available in that pond ecosystem. Thus, it will deplete nutrients which are available for 
other native species. So this is how it is causing a disruption in that in ecosystem. Okay. Next is what are the perceived benefits versus negative impacts? So do they really have any benefits or those benefits are just perception of people who have introduced it to the new area? Many invasive alien species were intentionally introduced for perceived benefits in sectors such as forestry, agriculture, horticulture, aquaculture and even as pets. Okay, But they have not considered the negative impacts on biodiversity and the local ecosystem. And invasive alien species have played a significant role in 60 percentage of documented global plant and animal extinction. Statements like this are very important. You can use these in your answer writing, mains answer writing directly. Okay. Next, these species are now recognized as one of the five primary drivers of biodiversity loss. Okay. What are the other four? They are land and sea use change, direct exploitation of organism, climate change and pollution. And then comes invasive alien species, the fifth one. Okay. So, these points are very important. Regional distribution. How are invasive alien species distributed worldwide? 34 percentage is found in Americas, 31 in Europe and Central Asia, 25 percentage in Asia and Pacific and about 7 percentage from Africa. So, this is the global distribution. So, the first two you can remember that is the first comes the Americas both North and South and then 31 percentage in Europe and Central Asia. Okay. The majority of the negative impacts occur on land, especially in forest, woodlands and cultivated areas. This point is also important. So, when we compare between aquatic ecosystem and land ecosystem, that is terrestrial ecosystem, the majority of negative impacts of invasive alien species is there in terrestrial ecosystem. Okay. Next, invasive alien species are most damaging on islands. This is also important. The next fact is important. See that. On more than 25 percentage of all islands, the number of alien plants now exceed the native plants. Okay, So, on more than 25 percentage of all islands, the number of alien plants is exceeding the number of native plants. Okay, So, these facts are very important. So, what are all the factors responsible for the rising invasive species? First thing is globalization of trade and travel. Increased international trade and travel have facilitated the unintentional movement of species across the borders. We already saw that intentionally it has been introduced into newer environments, but then because of trade and travel, unintentionally there is movement of species across borders and through cargo ships, airplanes and vehicles and also through ballast water and uh, even certain organisms get attached to the base of the vessels and then they get transported to other areas, newer areas. So, the best example for this is introduction of black rat in Australia, okay, in 1800s. This black rat is, rat is re regarded as one of the world's worst invasive species by IUCN, okay. So, globalization and trade is one main reason. Next is climate change. How is climate change going to impact or going to uh, cause a bloom in invasive alien species that is because elevated temperature and shifts in precipitation pattern along with shifts in timing of seasons all these factors will cause a disruption or it will cause a dis, uh, disturbance to the native species okay so when native species are going to disturb are going to get disturbed or when they become weak and susceptible to the changes that is happening then these invasive species will easily invade them. Okay, so there will be higher competition from this invasive species. Okay, and they will act as predators. Next, human introduction of exotic species. We already saw this point that for the purpose of gardening, landscaping, and pest control, certain species of invasive, uh, I mean, certain invasive species are introduced into newer environments. So, climate change is also a reason for increase in invasive species. Next, what are all the impacts of invasive alien species? First thing is ecological impact. Okay, Some invasive species may become predators of native species, thus causing decline in prey population. 
so certain species become predators predation means when one organism is going to consume on an, another organism or going to kill another organism okay and these disruption can have a far reaching consequence on ecosystem stability and resilience okay even the ability of that ecosystem to come back will be hampered next is economic impacts annual cost of invasive alien species have quadrupled every decade since 1917 okay so it has increased four times and in 2019 423 billion us dollars is the global economic cost of these species so how are they going to impact economically see this example species like zebra mussels can clog water pipes and infrastructures so when water pipes and infra other infrastructures are clogged then it may lead to expensive repairs and maintenance for these repairs and maintenance fund is needed money is needed so that is how economic impacts are there next is impact on food supply reduction of food supply is the most common consequence of alien invasive species how because they are going to damage fisheries one main reason okay the best example here is caribbean false mussel which damages fisheries in kerala okay next health implications there are certain species like aedes albopictus and aedes aegypti these are mosquitoes okay so they spread disease like malaria zika virus west nile virus which impact human health and another best example is which we already saw that is water hyacinth in lake victoria has led to depletion of a particular variety of fish called tilapia okay and it is impacting the local fishery so this is how it is going to impact fisheries and it is also going to impact human health okay next are there any international instruments or international conventions to control these invasive uh, invasive species yes there are um, very specific conventions and also other conventions which are in their sidelines they are going to address this issue first thing is coming montreal global biodiversity framework in the year 2022 last year it has been done and here in this convention governments have committed to reduce the rate of introduction and establishment of invasive alien species by at least 50 percentage by the year 2030 all these numbers are important 50 percentage by the year 2030 and they have committed to reduce the rate of introduction and establishment of invasive alien species so since it is in the year 2022 this becomes important and then earlier there were convention on biological diversity in the year 1992 which has been adopted at the rio earth summit okay and this convention recognizes invasive species as the major threat to environment second only to habitat destruction so a major threat to environment is habitat destruction and then comes invasive alien species according to this convention and then there is convention on conservation of migratory species cms in the year 1979 and this convention includes measures to control or eliminate invasive alien species which are already present okay and then there is convention on international trade in endangered species of wild fauna and flora which happened in the year 1975 and even in this convention it considers the impact of invasive species involved in trade so invasive species involved in trade those impacts are addressed using this particular convention <laughs>